drag race event. I'm about two hours outside of Bangkok in the middle of a rice field, and this event is bringing out Thailand's biggest and baddest off-road truck build. Oh my God. What? Dude, look at this. I did not expect to see this here. This is a first generation Honda CRV with a turbocharged K series swap. Oh my God. Uh, I expected to see a bunch of D Maxes and Hiluxes. This was not expected. This is a very, very pleasant surprise. What's coming in on the slide truck? This is a Nissan hard body. That is something you definitely don't see often in the US. Azuzu? The hard body has a 4JJ in it. It's the turbo diesel from the Zuzu D Max. Of course. 4JJ, Chai Cup. So, what he was just saying was the turbo on that is the F55 turbo. Because 55 millimeter class, when it comes to quarter mile turbo diesel drag racing here in Thailand, is hands down the most popular and competitive class. So, basically, what this hard body is, is a Nissan hard body with an Isuzu D Max 55 millimeter class powertrain in it lifted and ready for off-road action so these guys have matching this is a toyota hilux and this is an azuzu d max pretty much every truck here is going to be big turbo tuned rolling coal and another nissan hard body but once again this hard body is also using the 4jj out of the azuzu d max but this one is definitely not using an f55 millimeter turbo this is a much bigger turbocharger on this unit man this is just so cool i'm so excited for this i haven't been this excited for a drag race here in thailand for a long time because of how unique this is what is look look, look at this Also a Toyota Hilux, but it's an older generation from like the mid 80s. And again, with the Azuzu, Azuzu D-Max turbo diesel. This thing right here is nasty. Long, long, long. You know, Canada? I like this guy's shirt. Apparently, that's what a feminist looks like. What? Obviously, you can tell by the tailgate, this is a Mazda. Hello. Four JJ. No way. Really? Oh my God. This guy's got a K24 in this little freaking Mazda off-road pickup truck thing. And it's turbocharged as well. Thank you guys. It's very good. K power. K power. Yeah. Dude, I totally expected that thing to have an Isuzu D-Max 4JJ in it. And I thought he was trolling me when he said Honda K-Series. He was not trolling me. So this is not a Suzuki Jimny. I've seen multiple of these vehicles here, and they are Suzukis. But they're called something totally different. I've never even heard of it before. Most of them have engine swaps. This one has a swap from an Isuzu D-Max with a giant single turbo. And you'll notice that the turbo is actually facing backwards. So they don't get dirt inside the open turbo. But obviously these things are very, very popular in the off-road scene here in Thailand. This is my first real adventure into off-road vehicles in this country after being here for years. And it's very weird that it's actually a drag race. So I didn't know how popular these things are, but obviously very popular platform in the off-road community here in Thailand. Oh my God, look at this. It is a uh, Chevy Colorado. It's the first Chevrolet that I've seen here. For those that don't know, these trucks here in Thailand are a Duramax. Yes, it's a Colorado with a Duramax, but it's a four cylinder turbo diesel. It's not the Duramax you get in the Silverados uh, back in the US. So do you guys see what's going on here? This is a full blown drag truck. It is a quarter mile purpose built drag truck. Uh, you can tell just by the style of the truck. Also the front runners on it and the slicks in the back. I mean, it's, it's obvious what it is. They've just lifted it and put off-road tires on the rear for today for this event. How hilarious is that? I'll probably see this truck at Bangkok Drag Avenue next weekend. So this Hilux is pretty much the same style Tacoma that my dad had when I was growing up and when I was a child, when I was a young kid. 
Um, me and my dad did a lot of off-roading. Uh, oh. For JJ. Yeah, so this is the Ford JJ once again out of a D-Max. Uh, back in the USA, these Hiluxes had the 22R. Here, they come with four-cylinder turbo diesels. But once again, the Ford JJ that comes in the Zuzu D-Max is the go-to legendary engine when it comes to four-cylinder turbo diesels here in the country of Thailand. They put them in Toyotas, they put them in boats, they put them in rice tractors. And this is a very, very nice Hilux. And I just want to point out the fact, of course, the ambulance on duty at this event has uh, fake T-37s on it. Nice. Are you seeing this? See how this works out for them. You know how you put chains on tires in a snowy environment? This guy has a full-blown D-Max drag truck, and they put chains on the rear Hoosier slicks to attempt to get some type of traction in the dirt. <laughs> and traction is definitely going to be an issue because this is definitely not running the 55 millimeter class setup this is two extremely massive compound turbos strapped to this four jj uh how he's going to get any traction in a dirt field i have no idea but i'm sure it's going to be interesting to watch him attempt to get any level of traction And the same people that built this crazy thing also built this little Suzuki, which is pretty wild. It has a massive compound setup, and for good measure, check out the interior. Look what's in the passenger seat. They literally have a nitrous bottle ratchet strapped to the freaking passenger seat. Yes, I yes, I want to ride in this down the track. Would you like? Yes, yes, thank you so much. So these guys are telling me that they don't have a passenger seat for me but I can just sit on the floorboard and hold on to the roll cage while we make a pass down the drag strip. Welcome to Thailand, safety fit. Wow, look at us with uh, safety equipment here in Thailand. <laughs> Pray for me, this is gonna be crazy. I'm glad he has to call the harnesses. At least one of us is safe. The things I do for this YouTube channel. You better share this video with a friend. This video better get a freaking million views. Because I am literally putting my life in danger for this video. Jesus Christ, pray for me. I get to ride in that crazy looking uh, little Toyota Hilux. Ty style. You got the seat belt, but look. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you so much. 
Holy shit! Uh, that thing is fast. Like, legitimate fast. The drag truck was just like spinning almost non-stop. This thing, because it actually has proper off-road tires, it hooked and the thing gets down. Like, I shouldn't, shouldn't be surprised. It's like a 500 horsepower turbo diesel and a tiny little truck on off-road tires. But that was shockingly fast. This is what I've been waiting for all day. Finally, we are to the finals. No more qualifying, no more single truck racing. It's time for some real drag racing. Zero Bradbury! Left lane's got that all day. Left lane 9-5, right lane 11 0. Remember, anything in the nines here is incredibly fast. Definitely got him. Left lane nine four. Nine four. That's the fastest pass that I personally can have. Don't even ask me what's up with the uh, green bow dress girl. No idea what the hell's going on. Boy, this thing right here has been through it. We'll call it character. It has a lot of character. Guess that was his victory dance on the hood of his opponent's truck. This is the Toyota pickup truck that a few minutes ago ran a 9.4, which is the fastest pass I've seen all day. You can see over here, he's racing the red hard body. That is not a Thai flag. I'm pretty sure that's the Lao flag. I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, I'm probably gonna edit this out because I don't wanna look like a dumbass. But I'm pretty sure that's the Lao flag. So maybe this guy came to Thailand just for this event. So
is an OG, original Isan rice tractor that has been heavily modified with a custom chassis. This is a full blown drag rice tractor. I was told that this tractor engine originally makes a whopping 10 horsepower. But with the modifications they've done to this, now it makes 15 horsepower. That is a 50% increase in horsepower, if I can do math, which I can. Rice tractor coming in at a 14-2, but it's a rice tractor. I mean, you know, it's a rice tractor. What do you expect? My brain is fried from the heat today. Oh, is this finally going to make a pass? It is. The turbocharged K-Swap CRV. First gen. The best, best gen CRV. Hand down. of a Honda CRV. Besides the K-Swap Turbo CRV, the one vehicle that I wanted to make sure to see make a pass here at Dirt Drag 2024 is this Isuzu D-Max, the one I rode in earlier, like the two chassis, space frame, full blown drag truck that makes well over a thousand horsepower. Still has Hoosier slicks on the rear, but they just wrap chains around them. And uh, yeah, let's see how this works out. Should be quite interesting. And look who he's racing. It's the other truck that I rode in earlier that we were doing uh, pulls in and drifting around over in the practice area. 